last week on the YouTube channel, we had a Ford Power Stroke in. If you missed it, check out the video here. We replaced the entire fuel system front to back. Our focus point was on this, a CP4 pump. We upgraded to a CP4.2. At the end of that video, we asked you guys, do you wanna see this pump on the table, tour apart, and us talk about it? You guys responded with, yes. And that's exactly what we're doing today. We got our tools out, we're gonna take it apart, and let's dive into it. So before we take apart this pump, let's talk about the one electronic part on it. It's called a VCV, volume control valve. Its job is simply as this. Fuel comes from the tank to the pump. This is a metering valve that allows the correct amount of fuel to go to each piston. Take a look at this pump. It's shaped just like a V. There's a piston here, and there's a piston here inside of it. And the job of this a VCV is to allow the correct amount to go to it. Now guys, last week, if you took a look at that video, you seen us take this out and look at it and do a close up on the metal shavings. Ours were not significant. Don't let it fool you. Any amount of metal in this system is too much and you have to replace everything. Most of the time we see them, there's metal everywhere. So when you see that, you definitely got to replace the fuel system. So guys, we talked about the pistons. Let's check those out. So let's get this volume control valve out and let's talk about the piston. First off, you can see there's a spring here. As you notice, when I removed it from the bore, it popped out. Why? Because it's under spring pressure, hence the fact high pressure fuel. Now what actually presses on this? I want you to think of a V2 engine. That's exactly what this is. There's a cam in the middle. As the cam turns, there's lifters that go up. And when they go up, they hit this spring. When they do, high pressure fuel comes out. That's exactly how this pump works. It is similar to an engine. Now, what type of lifter is in this CP4 pump that presses on this spring? Let's get it out of there. So we've got the lifter out of the bore. Let's take a closer look at it. You can see at the bottom of this lifter, there is a bearing on it and it's a roller bearing. That means I can take this and without any resistance, go back and forth on it. This is exactly how it works against the camshaft. They actually ride together and it's lubricated by fuel. So when we take this out and we put the piston and the lifter together, we are gonna create high pressure fuel. How? Because the camshaft comes up when it does, it pushes up on the spring. When there's spring pressure, high pressure fuel comes out here. And that's exactly how you create high pressure fuel in your diesel engine runs. Now just say one time, because remember, this is lubricated by low pressure fuel. Just one time, you starve the pump for fuel and it runs out. What happens? Metal on metal, it's gotta be lubricated. You get non-lubricating materials together, this can potentially fail. When it does, it eats straight into the camshaft and you get a CP4 pump that just fell. Let's take a look at this camshaft. So we're looking down at this camshaft. Right off the bat, you can see a little bit of metal on top of it. We're gonna spin it over. We're gonna look at all the flat and the high spots and you can visibly see there is some material on top of this camshaft, but it's not that bad. Guys, with this customer's truck, it was towed in. When it was towed in, it didn't run. He said it lost all fuel pressure, would not start back. We drained the fuel filters out of it, cut them apart, looked inside of it. There was metal inside those fuel filters. So we know if there's metal there, there's metal inside the pump, and that's what we just proved. Now, guys, it is not good practice just to replace one single part in the system, meaning if you just think the pump failed, you just replace the pump, the truck magically starts. That's not what's gonna take place. Your time and time over again, spending money on injectors, pump, low pressure tank, and then eventually it'll just all fail again. It's the reason why with the last customer's truck, we replaced every single component in it because there's metal from the tank to the high pressure pump. So we went over the CP4 pump, laid out all the parts inside of it on the table. We've got the lifters, the piston, volume control valve, and what happens if you starve it for fuel? 
Guys, we upgraded the truck last week from the CP4 pump, this one here, to a CP4.2. Guess what it has the CP4.2? The 17 through 19 power strokes, and we're going to the dyno. We're gonna see if that CP4.2 can actually maintain rail pressure at 600 rural horsepower. It's dyno time next week. Make for sure you like, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and we'll see you here at Point Blank Performance.